Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Rebels TV, the 13th episode, lucky number 13 for season 2016. It's great to be joining you once again to bring you all of the happenings in Rebels land, the North Ballarat Rebels in the TSA Cup competition. I'm Sean Kelly, joining me as always, AFL Victoria talent manager Phil Partington. Welcome back, Pardo, great to have you back. Great to be back, Sean. It's been a busy couple of weeks for not only Rebels, but also myself with Vic Country. So yep. uh, looking forward to going through you know, the Rebels boys and also the Vic Country uh, plays on the weekend. Yeah, certainly, as we know, no Rebels game on the weekend, but that doesn't mean our Rebels boys were sitting idle. A lot of complaint in local footy competitions throughout, throughout Western Victoria, but also some really good representative players. Vic Country, under 16s playing a Laguntas team, an Indigenous team based out of the Coram Gamage Institute at Richmond. Four players from the Rebels in the Indigenous team, the Laguntas, six in the Victorian Country Under-16 squad. Some good representation for the Rebels in that game. Yeah, Rap Sean. To see the boys, uh, Laguntas boys play, uh, you know, they're, they're leaders amongst their community and their role models for their boys. So, you know, Jermaine Jones played a really good game. Aidan Domic played a really good game. So, there's a couple of the boys there in the Vic Country Under-16 boys. We're lucky enough to get five boys through into the final squad. It was a, a pretty wet day actually down at uh, Punt Road, but the boys acquitted themselves really, really well and uh, played some good footy. And yeah, really good for Western Victoria footy to see five of those boys play big country under-16s. And of course, Matthew Battistello, our high performance manager, coach of the under-16 big country side this year as well. Doing a great job, yeah. So Bat is looking after our high performance guys in the TAC Cup, but having him the opportunity to coach his own team the under-16 Victorian country team will be you know, good for his resume, but also good for his development as a coach and hopefully where he wants to get to in his coaching in the future. Also happening on the weekend, the under-18 national championships. It was round two on the weekend, Pardo. The Vic Country boys came back into camp. Big game against Vic Metro. Talk us through, I suppose, some of the lead up to the game because the game was on Monday. The boys went into camp on the Saturday. Five Rebels boys in that the that actually took to the field this time, along with Tommy Williamson and Lloyd Meeker, of course, emergencies for the game. Yeah, we try and install the boys how to go about an AFL preparation, Sean. So uh, yeah, staying two nights in the hotel, different beds and things like that. But uh, we've got a bit of tradition at uh, Vic Country that we take the boys to the the shrine in Melbourne, and uh, we're lucky enough again this year on Queen's birthday weekend to have the twenty one gun salute, which is a good experience for the boys, but also just learn about. Uh, the history of Australia and uh, the sacrifices made by you know people to be where we are today, and uh, yeah, we've got a great person amongst the country, Richard Elbleton, who's a Order of Australia medalist and um, you know very involved with legacy and uh, looking after return servicemen. So he does a wonderful job, and we basically call it the 19 uh, Man uh, Award. So we have at the end of the year, end of the carnival, we award the 19th Man Rule and yep. the rule uh, the award. So. It's really important for us to be country the boys understand you know the sacrifices made and it goes back into our sort of uh, mantra for big country as well and of course the game on monday the traditional queen's birthday game against vic metro a pretty good game of footy down at simmons stadium in geelong and five rebels boys playing and all five of them acquitting themselves really really well yeah i thought all the rebels boys were good actually so uh yeah the feedback we've received as coaching staff of big country was one of the best national games the recruiters and general public have seen the actual the pace of the game the, the body contact the excitement at the end of the game with only the two points in it so yeah we're all very very pleased look you mcluggage just shot and stood up again and kicked three goals jared berry jared Corv had big text off the halfback line yeah, right, okay. look he had five inside 50 mm -hmm. entries uh which is really really exciting and, and the Metro team were really worried about his run and trying to push him back in the last quarter. So, unfortunately, we get over the line. You know, disappointing. I think we should have. We're 20 points up at uh, the three-quarter time. And, uh, yeah, the scoring end was down that Torquay end of the ground. And uh, a lot of goals were scored there. So, you know, we missed out by two points at the end of the day, which was disappointing. But we'll, we'll bounce back. And we've got uh, the South Australian team in two weeks' time, so looking forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be a great game in a couple of weeks' time at Eddie Had Stadium. But before we continue, we're lucky enough, Rebels TV, to be present at the Vic Country and Vic Metro game this week. Thanks to Pardo, obviously, in his role as team manager of Vic Country, and also Paul Hendrickson, the coach of Vic Country, for getting us out and about. And we took the video camera in, we followed some of the Rebels boys throughout the day, had a look at their preparation, put a bit of a package together now for you to enjoy.
Tom Williamson, Willow, first emergency for today's game, mate. But you went through the camp with the boys. Tell us what's happened over the last couple of days. Yeah, so we come in on uh, Saturday morning, um, had a training session, and um, just went through sort of what we wanted to do for today. Then had a few meetings later on that night, reviewed the WA game, and then, yeah, back to this week, and then uh, moving forward. So, yeah, we're here today, and hopefully the boys can get a win. Now, not playing today, but have you got an official role for the day? Ah, uh, no, I don't, so I'll be just watching and um, observing for the back line boys, and just give it a bit of there when I'm getting it.
right here with Vic Country Captain Jared Berry, uh, Jared Berry Bears. Tough loss today, mate. Tough ending to the game. Yeah, it was uh, disappointing, and obviously. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully come back after the fly and bounce back. Uh, we'll be going against SA, so yeah, just although it's disappointing, we'll just moving forward to the next, uh, the next, the next chapter of the country's journey. How do you find your game today, mate? Uh, yeah, a bit knocked around a bit. Um, I mean, to like to play a bit better, but um, yeah, I guess it's all about playing your role and um, doing what the team needs. So. And what's up now? Obviously, the buy next week. Do you try, go back, train with the Rebels during the week, and then get prepared for two weeks' time at Etihad Stadium? Yeah, pretty much. So, the plan at the moment is um, everyone, everyone has a rest. Um, so, all the big country boys won't play to the AC. And, um, yeah, just pretty much just replenish, replenish ourselves and uh, yeah, get ready for the big game against the uh, Rebels. Thanks, Bears. We miss you, mate. But good luck with Vic Country. Too easy. Thanks, Sean. Our package on the Vic Country side, the five Rebels boys in action. Also good to hear from Tom Williamson there at the start as well. The first emergency for Vic Country, and of course they played very well in their first game up in Perth. Yeah, Tom, first emergency. Got involved the whole weekend, uh, came down with the boys today, did the warm-up. Was a bit of a late call not being in the team, um, but uh, yeah, Tom's just a, just a professional in the way he does things and uh, prepared himself for a game of footy as he would uh, any other day. So. Uh, We'll see him back in the big country colours very, very shortly. He certainly got involved from the hand in the subway at the end of the game as well. I think he went in with two hands, not just the one, so he got right around that. I'm not quite sure we're heading out the subway. Should have been heading out the feed boxes to the boys. I but, don't uh, quite think the dietitians would have liked no, that, but true. I'm yeah. completely on that. They should have had the fan feed box. Head down to McDonald's and grab one yourself, see what exactly what we're talking about. Inside 60 Time Pardo, most popular segment every week, as we know, here on Rebels TV. Thanks to our great friends at Blue Gum Clothing. Got the Blue Gum Tops on now, and tell you what, in this Ballarat winter, very much keeping us warm. And really interesting kind of fella on Inside 60 this week, the pride of the Ararat Football Club, Riley Taylor, doing a great job. Oh, look out, looking forward to this one. Uh, very enthusiastic boy around our footy club, but uh, got plenty to say. A few boys are getting a few clips around the ears to him throughout the year with a cheek, so uh, I reckon Taylor's is one of those guys with a bit of a quiet sort of nature. Simon Assassin. But when he gets the opportunity in front of the camera, he'll just go whackity whack whack and get into these boys, so Riley Taylor. Let's find out. Riley Taylor on Inside 60, thanks to Blue Gun Clothing. Uh, tails. I'll probably be the wing. Um, probably Sam Mitchell. All right, rats. Uh, experienced. Jared Berry. Jack Taro, because he's just a Muppet. Yeah, definitely Jake McQueen, he's just he's just a rat. Uh, probably winning the under-17s last year. Uh, Daniel Mendes. Uh, Clinton Young. Thanks, Ronnie. Taylor on Inside 60. Thanks to Blue Gum Clothing. Great to have Blue Gum, of course, sponsoring the Rebels this year. And not a bad job by Young Taylor's there. Just put a couple in the firing line quite nicely. Well, his Ararat teammates, yeah. or, you know, Jackson's not a, uh, an Ararat uh, town, mate. Town, mate, I suppose. Yep. They come down the car. It's going to be a pretty quiet trip down on Thursday night. Oh, the car, right. I reckon, sure. Once they've seen this, and Raleigh's going to be a little whack. But good on your tails. I'm glad you've you know, started a bit of rivalry there, so uh, good luck for the future of the games. And also Jake McQueen just getting another vote as most oh, annoying oh, teammate, oh. another vote as an annoying rat. And well, there's some stories about Jake McQueen going around at the moment too, I reckon, yeah, which no, might be for another day. No, I've got to apologise to Jake McQueen, and uh, yeah, we'll talk about it later on, Jakey, but a uh, very, very funny thing happened on the weekend, but uh, we'll move on, Sean. We will indeed. I've got a feeling Mrs Williamson and McCluggage will take care of that on Thursday night for us after training. Big game this weekend coming up for the Rebels. Two longest win streaks in the TAC Cup on the line. You've got in one corner your North Ballarat Rebels on a six-game win streak. 
in the other corner, the Geelong Falcons, nine games they have won out of their 10 this year. Absolutely flying along. I think it's eight in a row for the Falcons. This will be a great game. 11, 11 a.m. start as well here at Eureka Stadium this week. Curtain raiser to the Roosters taking on the Casey Scorpions. Really big game of footy. A oh, huge game of footy for not only for the Rebels but also the Falcons. They're the informed team of the competition. Yeah. Jordan noted about that. They're, they're hard, they're quick, they do everything right, uh, well coached. So, yeah, we'll be up against it a bit, the Rebels, this week. Uh, yeah, missing our, uh, our key players here, Vic Country. Yep. Uh, some school footy this week as well. So, uh, yeah, but it gives our opportunity for the boys in our team to be playing really well too, Sean. So, we're not going out there saying, yeah, but we're going to be really, really competitive on our home deck at Eureka Stadium. Yeah, the Falcons better watch out because I reckon they, our boys are really keen to knock them off to, to stamp our authority on the competition short. And what we've seen with the boys that have come into the side in recent weeks is that they come in and because of all the training they do and everything like that, they just fit in really, really well into the system that Jeremy Fitzgerald's got going with the Rebels boys where we don't change the way that we play our footy from week to week regardless of who's in the team. It's just obviously plucking new players and plugging them into the system and it's worked really well so far. Well, talking about new players in the system, Sean, we'll have another one this week. New uh, debutant again this new week. New debutant this week. No one knows about this boy really. Cedric Cox from Camping Down Football. Uh, coming to play his first game of the TAC Cup. Beautiful. A boy from Halls Creek in WA come across to Camperdown Footy Club to uh, further his football. He's playing outstanding football at Camperdown. He's played senior inter league at the Hampton Footy League. And uh, yeah, we're giving boys the opportunity. He's one boy that wants the opportunity. We're going to give it to him and yep. uh, hope he can stick around for a little bit longer and uh, see how he performs. But we're excited to give another boy an opportunity just coming to our squad. So it's a flooding squad every year, Sean. Mm -hmm. So this boy's playing outstanding footy. We'll give him the opportunity, so looking forward to see how he goes. Great to see Cedric making his debut this weekend. Of course, his brother Daniel playing in the game after it as well for the Roosters. It'll be a huge day at Eureka Stadium this weekend. Chance that we might get a few players back in for the Rebels as well. I know Tommy Williamson absolutely chomping at the bit to get out there and represent the Rebels this weekend. Big choppers too, Sean. Big weekend. choppers to chomp too. So uh, he's really keen to play uh, this weekend, which is great for him. That's all the time we've got on Rebels TV for this week. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, of course, to Mac as our fantastic sponsors. And thanks to our live studio audience today as well, Pardo. Just a couple of boys filtering in and saying hello and seeing how we're going. That's all we've got, mate. Thanks for joining us once again. No, Sean, you're doing a great job, Sean, and did a great job at Big Country. So thank you to, to Public Ice, the boys across the region. No, thank you. And thank you as well for watching us on Rebels TV. We'll see you again next week.